Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode we did some stuff in Witchy World, and now we're going to do some more stuff in Witchy World, including going up this rope here. This takes a little, uh, finesse, but, uh, can be done. Ugh! I'm crying out loud. DUDE! Get up there with your skinny ass legs! Yeah! There we go, baby. Okay, and there's a Jinjo up here. Ooh, so happy, and you can see everything from up here, so any time you need to go somewhere, you just look from the top of the tent, and there you go. So I'm gonna head over to this side, because there's actually a crap load of Jiggies we can get over here. And I'm gonna zoom this thing out. We have another strangely, uh, high platform here. Not sure what that's all about. But, um, there's actually another Jinjo we can get here, too. What we have to do is grab onto the ledge of this door, get on top of it, and then grab onto this over here, and we can just slide right over to him. No problem. Zoop. Jinjo! So happy. Okay, so kill this guy. And over here we have a machine that's a test your might machine of sorts. So you'll have to do three different things to get this thing to the top. You want to build drill it, do a regular attack, and then... Um, let me see. I'm not sure if you have to do it this way, but you'll want to hit it with a grenade egg. Boom, there you go. I probably didn't have to be that careful, but oh well. And look at that, there's a Jiggy. Who would have thought? Who would have thought it was that simple? So let's just climb up and claim our prize, man. Yeah! 23 Jiggies, lucky number 23. And, uh, let me see. Is that all we have to... Well, I just want to see what's up here real quick, I forgot. Oh wait, you know, I don't remember what it is now. It's not important right now. It's just a way to get to Wumba's place. Well, we don't really need to do that just yet. I suppose I could, just to activate the warp point and all that. Okay, here's our first Minjo. See, it looks like a Jinjo. When you get close to him, he starts coming after you. Rawr! I'm a Minjo. Arch enemy of Jinjos. And here's the other move that we haven't learned yet in this world. No way, son. I'll only teach this one once you got rid of that dumb bird. You're so funny. Haha. <laughs> Well, it just so happens, right across the way from him. We'll just take a shortcut over the tent here. Kill this hammer guy. Hammer time! And, uh, split up. This is how it's done. You stand on one, split to the other. You have split up! Oh, we split up! No! No! I can't take this right now. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't kid about that kind of thing right now. To rejoin, simply touch the two characters together. Yeah, we know all about touching. Oh, I could have picked up that honey. Oh, well. Can we cross the tent as Banjo by himself? Yeah, I guess we can. Oh, there's a Minjo again. Oh, I just walked right through him. Holy crap. I was trying to do a bear roll, but anyway. Banjo's now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Just press B around, round the swings. Bumps and bruises too bad as it brings. Nice uh, alliteration there. You'll also notice that when you're split up, you have a shorter life meter because you're not together, so you can take less pain, which kind of blows, but yeah, what are you going to do, right? Anyway, and you can use this to attack enemies, destroy them. It's a very nice little move, actually, because it goes all the way around. And it's got a nice, uh, uh, whatever that's called, a nice coverage or something. There's a word for that that we used to use in a game called Mage Knight, but I forget. Area of Effect or something? Yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, so we'll use this and get inside here. And what would be in here but actually, oh, you know what, I think we need to split up before we come in here. Because there's actually a switch for each character, for Banjo and Kazooie. So we gotta go out and split up again. And the tediousness goes on. But hey, what are you gonna do, right? That sound that you just heard, that's actually an enemy rematerializing. Just in case you didn't know. I don't think Banjo can actually make this jump by himself. So you might have to use the barrel next to it. You might be able to. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you just knocked me up there. 
I'm not sure what the formula is if you have like five out of seven life and then you split up like how much you're gonna have when you go down to five maximum life. Okay, anyway, once you've gotten where you want to go, you can switch to your other character. Normally, you have to be on a... Well, oh, it's Kazooie's the one that can't get up here. It has to use the barrel. Who would have thunk it? Huh. Yeah, normally you can't just switch to the other character anytime you want to. You have to go back to the switch pad. But if you have a area like this where there's like little stars coming out of the ground, then you can stand on that area and switch from there. So, that's kind of nice. Anyway, this will activate the tent outside. Crazy castle stockade. Very interesting. I hear you, Jinjo. No, actually, I don't hear you. You're the Minjo. I'm not gonna fall for that. What do I look like? Complete idiot? Ooh. Okay, so while we're still Kazooie, I'm gonna head back outside here. Back outside. Go inside the tent. Now, inside, there will be two doors. And uh, this one would normally have a Kazooie on it, a Kazooie logo by himself, and that's how you would know, by herself, I should say. And that would indicate that you have to have Kazooie by herself to actually enter. Cool. Welcome to the Hoop Hurry Challenge! You have 60 seconds in which to score 30 points! Do you want to hear the rules? No, I'll tell them about it. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, might as well pick up the sprint shoes here. So you want to jump through the hoops, and anytime you see a blue one, try to jump through that. But the blue ones are pretty hard, though. It's hard to get through them. But they'll give you three points if you go through them, so... And since all you need is 30 points, that's uh, quite a bargain if you can pull it off. If you can get, like, into a string of them, that helps a lot. You know, like, uh... You know, and take your time, too. I mean, don't panic if you're not making it through, because you will. It's not too hard. I mean, these, these are really easy little games here. 23. 20. Oh, get the blue one. Ah, you didn't get the blue one. You gotta get this blue one here. No. Holy crap, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose. Oh, man, we just barely made that. How in the world? Jeez. No, you can't have! You scored enough points to win my Hoop Hurry Prize! I think she said, you can't have! You know, you can't have. Hmm. Either way, we got the Jiggy, so let's go get it. I guess you could just leave it there, but, you know, go get the other one. Do you want to play again? No. Why would I? There's no more Jiggies to get from it. <laughs> Unless I was just doing it for fun. But then again, who's really doing it for fun? Now that is pretty fun, though. That is a fun little game. Normally, I do a lot better than that. I just got all panicky. It's a stage fright or something. Anyway, we'll use our junk ball pad here since we're still Kazooie. You actually get quite a bit more hide out of that when you're Kazooie by herself. Oh man, don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna have to go get Banjo for this. Eh. Ah. Alright, fine. Be that way. I hope it's still there when I come back out. <laughs> that's gonna suck if it ain't. Anyway, touch the two characters together. If it's not there, I'll just go do it again off screen. Oh, I mean, do the do the game again to make it appear. I sure hope it's there. I don't know if I can see it from here. Dude, 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 get away from me, man! What the hell? All right, fine. I'm not gonna waste time. Yeah, they're dicking around here. Yes, it is still there. Okay, good. I was gonna say. Yeah, this tent kind of bounces around. It's funny. So let's go back inside and play the other game now. And this time, since we have Banjo and Kazooie, that door will be open, and that one is shut. I'm telling you, you need Kazooie alone to enter that one. But obviously, I don't know why I'm explaining this stuff. Oh, all of a sudden, we're flying. Welcome to the Balloon Burst Challenge! You have 60 seconds in which to score 50 points! Do you want to hear the rules? No. Ready, three, two, one, go! Pretty much here you got unlimited eggs and unlimited red feathers, so just go ape shit. 
And always go for the blue ones if you see them. Go for those first. Just keep the Z button down the whole time. What did she say? 50 seconds to score 60 points, I think? Yeah, this is gonna be really noisy. Sorry about that. It's just how the game is. It's a boisterous little game, it is. Yeah, I was gonna say, usually you see more balloons than this on the screen. I wasn't seeing much. Ooh, two blue ones in a row, man. Yeah. Try to stay up high, because that's where the balloons go. And you don't want to lose them. It's not too hard. Nothing to it. 46, 48, 50. Oh, there's a blue one, yes. Yo, it's so unfair, you scored enough points to win my Balloon Burst prize. <laughs>